What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today we will be taking a look at the Super Mario Galaxy gameplay on the 3D All-Stars. If you haven't seen the Sunshine gameplay, there will be a link right there to watch it. And back to the video. Alright, so now we are going to do Mario Galaxy. I am on Battle Rock Galaxy right now. I'm getting one of the stars. I'm really enjoying Mario Galaxy. I mean, again, you know, this is a game I never got to play as a kid. Like, other than one level. Or a couple levels so this is new to me you know and I think it controls beautifully like I use the pro controller and I can use this you know it substitutes the nunchuck or whatever and the cool thing about this is I was kind of worried that it wouldn't work without a Wii remote you can point and everything oh snap what am I supposed to do this works you can still you can shake the remote if you want to do all these spins and stuff uh, you can also have the manual button which is always great to have that option and then you can also uh, recenter your controller anytime. If you're like laying down, sometimes you have to realign it. Oh, damn it. You have to realign it because you can't see. But this gameplay is amazing and I'm quite impressed so far. I actually want to say I'm kind of addicted to this game. I'm definitely looking forward to beat it. I did want to do this one first because it's brand new to me and then beat Sunshine and then maybe go to 64. So it looks like we have to bring some of these bullet bills towards us this game is really awesome though um, it does feel like a slight downgrade from sunshine because um, it's not so much of an, a world as they are planets and stuff so there's like every planet has a, its gimmicks and everything so like it feels like it's a one and done type deal like you run the course once and then you can not really ever go back again because I feel like there's not much to explore you know but I'm happy with the game there are no complaints about the actual gameplay itself it's just that's the only thing it seems like like it seems like this would be better as a mobile game than it would as like a triple A title for the Wii you know and I do like how it's like one giant planet, but every single star you get takes you on a different course. So that part is pretty neat, I have to admit, because that keeps it kind of fresh. Like, oh, we got bombs. I don't think this bomb's gonna blow up in those last three seconds. Oh my god, no. Okay, let's do this better, I guess. I feel like literally every second counts, though. Beautiful. A star? So that's your little taste of Super Mario Galaxy. 
it plays excellent with the Pro Controller. I don't know if it's compatible with the GameCube controller. I don't think I'm going to try because I like this so much because it's got the motion and everything. Um, so far, Galaxy is definitely the better option of the other three to play because Mario Sunshine plays a lot better on a GameCube controller on a Nintendo GameCube console. It doesn't play as well, in my opinion, on in this 3D All-Star, and that kind of bums me out because I really enjoyed the game. I'm going to give it a new try. I'm going to hope that they're going to... Um, I'm going to hope they're going to update the inverted problem so I can enjoy that, you know? But... Other than that, um, no problem with Galaxy, and uh, 64 plays okay. It's really weird playing on Pro Controller because, you know, I'm used to playing on a 64 controller my entire life, but I did play it on DS, so it's not too different from playing on an Nintendo DS. That's going to be it for today's video. Stay tuned for the other videos as well. Subscribe, new videos every week, and as always, thank you for watching.